What's good and welcome to your favorite podcast, your favorite new podcast. It's your boy Unique and you're now tuned in to Speak With Free podcast. I actually did, just did a whole video like an hour long, but I recorded audio only. So I got to practice what I preach. I said at least I had the audio, but we going to run it back. I feel like that was just a rough drive for me. So. What I want to bring y'all today is like what I got going on with this podcast. But what is this podcast as a whole? What do we plan to do? What is the objective of this podcast? Uh, we'll go with the name first. So speak with free. It's not. It's uh endless. Y'all gonna hear that word a lot. It's endless. So. You speak speak with a free mind, free will, free space. Uh, it's one more I'm forgetting. Free mind, free will, free space, and free will, free space. And just like this new to me, this I mean, just like this new to y'all, this new to me also. So it's a lot of stuff I'm still learning. That's what's really gonna bring the experience like wholeheartedly because it's like I'm learning as y'all learning or as y'all watching me learn. I like to see stuff like that. Uh, I don't like, I would love to see million dollars worth of game if they didn't have that status, but I would love to see them come out and probably have something like this, like a simple sit up or something like that and then go to that. So yeah, welcome to the journey. But yeah, free space, that's what I was missing, free space. So yeah, it's endless. It can mean anything. When you come here, it's like a safe, safe place. So when you come in here, it's just like, I'm just free. I got free will to do anything I want to do on this podcast. And I literally mean that. Li literally anything, free will. But uh, the main topics that we are gonna discuss is spirituality, most definitely. If you know me, if you don't know me, I'm a very spiritual person, you know, so that's definitely not going to be out the window. It's definitely going to be one of the main topics for sure. Uh, the youth, most definitely, most definitely the youth. If not one, that might be the number one main topic. Uh, urban news, stuff like that, the conspiracy theories, really everything, but just not in a traditional way. Cause one thing y'all gonna learn Welcome to the family by the way One thing y'all gonna learn about this family is We don't uh, Fuck I forgot what I was gonna say But Yeah that's the origin Free mind all that So um, I got sidetracked I got sidetracked I'm sorry y'all And this is why I write stuff down now, you know. It's definitely better to write stuff down. But yeah, who are we? We are one. We are everything. We are everything and we just put it in a podcast to verbally explain what everything means and to visually explain what everything means. So yeah, speak with free. It's a pod, it can't really have a title other than a podcast title. But the genre and everything like that, we everywhere. We're, we're, we're unicorns. Y'all gonna hear that a lot, that term unicorn. It was very feminized for some reason, I don't know why. But it's definitely not a, like a gender specific term. Unicorn just means you can do anything. And today, we're well, on this podcast, we're gonna do everything and anything. Uh, so, what is spirituality? Spirituality, once again, is everything. Uh, spirituality is literally everything. 
spirituality is free. Like I said, that's why I'm glad that it speak with free, because that's free. You know, spirituality is spirituality is knowing and is unknowing. Spirituality is everything and nothing at the same time. And I know before I jumped into this, because it's not a religion, before I did jump into spirituality, I used to be like, man, they say that with everything. Like, it's always a, with a riddle or something. Yeah, it's always like a riddle. But once you start to learn that the world is really a, a riddle, because it's a playground, bro, none of this shit is real. So yeah, the world is a riddle. And it's not even a riddle. It's really just a balance. So spirituality consists of, if I got 10 good people doing this, I got 10 bad people doing this, doing what they do, you know what I'm saying? If I got 10 bad people doing this, I got, it's, a, it's always a balance to everything you do. Everything, bro. It's always. Spirituality is freedom, balance, and everything and nothing at the same time. That's the best way to put it. If I were to sum it up. Because we'll never get to the end of what spirituality is. For real, for real, for real. We'll never get, you know, because it's endless. It's endless. But if you wanted to tap in, how would you tap in? And that's very, that's a good question. And tapping in... It's self-explanatory to me now because I'm, you know, I'm tapped in. But tapping in is very self-explanatory. You tapping in, excuse me. You tapping inward. You tapping. Everything is internal. So you should never really focus on everything like on the outside, external. None of this shit right here. None of that. Tapping in is everything like this. So if you wanted to get tapped in, and I'm gonna summarize this also because. Like I said, it's endless, and we're going to come at it this plenty, um, plenty more episodes. But the best way I could say is to really meditate, yo. Like, meditate. The best way to tap in is to meditate. Realize who you are. Realize if you are who you even thought you was. You know what I'm saying? Realize your energy. Cause that's the hardest thing to do That shit sounds so easy To realize your energy But 9 times out of 10 It's gonna be crazy to y'all 9 times out of 10 The way you feeling Whether it's good or not It's not even your energy 9 times out of 10 It's somebody else's energy yo You're not, Or Yeah it's somebody else's energy So You definitely gotta recognize your energy because once you do get tapped in, you have a lot of mixed feelings. And the mixed feelings do not be coming from you for real, for real. I'm not going to say every mixed feeling, but a lot of mixed emotions and shit be coming from outside sources. So that's why you got to tap in. And once you tap in, you protect your energy. And that way, well, you got to realize your energy first. So you realize your energy, and then you protect that energy. It protects itself. Because once energy realizes, like, all right. Is that because we all are energy? So once that energy gets back to that, to the original line it was supposed to be on, it's definitely gonna protect yourself. You don't gotta do nothing on your end. But yeah, if you wanna get tapped in, meditate. And one thing I learned, or even before spirituality, a lot of people would say they try to meditate. And it just don't work. I try to meditate, and there's some reason it just don't work. It just don't like. I try to do this, do, 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 but it's not a specific way for meditation. Meditation is the way of life. Meditation is literally you breathing. You know? We meditate all day, every day. You don't even know it. When you mad at your boss and you blow that deep ass breath, you say, "Fuck, oh, man!" Like that's meditation. So, when you're literally, meditation is nothing but this right here. Close your eyes. That's meditation. It's 
there's no duration to it. Now, if you do want to get tapped in like deeper and faster, I would say it is. A, it's not a specific duration, but the longer the better. I'm gonna say that for real, cause you can't sit here and and, and meditate for three minutes and think you gonna get the knowledge that I got, all the downloads that I received over the years. Nah, it ain't, it ain't happening, bro. It ain't happening. So yeah, if you wanted to tap in and look at videos, look, go to uh, TikTok is an is amazing, amazing source. It's a rare source, but it's so amazing, yo. The reason why I say it's a rare source, cause when you think of TikTok, it's always like a kid's app. That's what it came out as. Shit, to me too. I used to like go the other way with TikTok, and then like when I first got spiritual, I first start waking up. Them videos really came to me, spiritual videos, and it started on YouTube. But I ain't gonna lie, TikTok very, like it helped for real, for real. It really did. TikTok is very informational. And you know what you're doing with it. You make money off of it too, you know. It all, it's all that. But if you want to get tapped in, you gotta, you gotta do your research. You gotta look at videos and stuff like that. And one thing you got to know, you take your own truth. There's no such thing as it's one specific truth with with spirituality. Cause my truth may be a lot of you. My opinion may be a fact to you. Vice versa, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, you gotta, just like literally what I'm speaking of right now, you gotta take your own truth for what I'm saying. If I didn't, if I listen to everything that I learned and literally live by every, literally everything, I would not be here right now, I'm telling y'all that. So you take your own truth because we, we are, we all are in our own world, literally. That's not a, uh, that's not a like a, it's not a, it's a society. Society said it as a joke when you be like, you in your own world, but that's real shit. Like, we really be in our own world. So, yeah, take your own truth. That's how you That's how you tap in for real. YouTube and TikTok will be your best friends, though, for sure. Follow people like me. I share other things. I know you're not going to get everything you're looking for within these videos because I'm still learning myself. So, I share stuff. If you wanted to reach out, to know who to follow, Cause I can't really give y'all nobody off the head, but so Illuminati, not even gonna lie, so Illuminati really helped me a whole lot, a whole lot. Like flowers to that guy right there, man, for real. Flowers to him. He's he's one of them ones, bro. He's one of them ones where you can't even deny. I don't care what you believe in. He got the facts. You know what I'm saying? All the reason you denying it, you just gotta be a sheep. You just scared. You living in fear for real. Not even gonna lie. Uh, one thing I want to say is there is no specific way to be spiritual. There's no specific way. It's, spirituality is not a religion. It's a way of life. It's not a religion. It's not a cult. It's not a. It's not a gang. None of that, bro. It's, it's a way of life. So when you do look at the videos. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all a scenario with me, with my manifestation, my written manifestations. This video I have a 369 method. And in this video I have a video explaining why not, why not to do this 369 method. And why it's delaying your manifestation and shit like that. Don't listen to that. Don't listen, I told y'all, y'all living, you living in your own world. Ain't nothing slowing you down but you. So don't listen to no, like, of course it's wrong is wrong. Don't get me wrong. Certain shit you just don't do. If it ain't got nothing to do with this. You know what I'm saying? Certain shit, but it should be nobody giving you, they can give you a direction. What they say, I can lead you to the water, but I can't make you drink it. Something like that. But it's just not one bucket of water. There's so many buckets of water to go to. You got to know that though, right? You know, that's that's one thing because it's really fucking us up. Like all our the spiritual teachers, the real people, the real spiritual beings, uh, it's it's fucking us up because you got a lot of fraudsters out here, and they get they seek followers and they seek 
attention and clout off, off shit like that. And don't get me wrong, let's just say they're living in their own world and that's why you take your own truth. So no, they may not be wrong because they're, they believe that or they know that it's a specific way to be spiritual. But you shouldn't be taking every bit of information as truth. I'm going to say that for real. That's with everything, literally everything, bro. You want to know why? Because information always changes. Nothing out, nothing stays the same, especially in this world. This shit is fake. History never stays the same. It's called history for a reason. Break it down. His story. Whose story? <laughs> His story. But now, nah, for real, like, all this shit fake, man. It's a playground, so you definitely got to take your own truth. And take your own lies, too. That's a fact. That's a fact. Um, so let's talk about my spiritual journey two years ago, two, three years ago. I can say this now because I'm spiritual, but I've, I've, I've always been spiritual. I'm going to say I've always been open-minded. I ain't never looked the other way when somebody questioned something about my religion. Or just about life, period, yo. And life will make you question your religion. Your life and the shit that go on. The people that don't practice what they preach. All that shit, bro. That shit will make you question it. So, I would say... A lot of people wake up off of like a traumatic experience, but I didn't, I don't know, I didn't wake up off of like, it wasn't nothing bad that happened or nothing like that, it was everything, it was just moments, it was bits and pieces leading up to where I'm at right now, like it, it was just destined for real, because the more I looked back at my timeline, it was like, damn, I've been spiritual, yo, I just never had that term, I, I ain't know what that term meant for real. I've been, been spiritual. So two, two, three years ago, it was my wake-up year, my spiritual awakening year. Very amazing year. A very amazing year. Um, I really closed my eyes because I lost my homie that same year. I lost my dog, JJ1K. And that same year that I woke up. So... You know, I really had to think about that shit, man. But it was an amazing year. Other than that, it was it was an amazing year for real. But uh, to get specific about it though, I was matter of fact, shout out to my dog Drizzy, cause Drizzy, free Drizzy, man. He really the first. Yeah, he really the first person to really like, it wasn't even try to wake me up. It was like a, a bell that, bing, and that shit just make you, oh shit, this is how, this is, this is what it is for real? I remember like it was yesterday though, we was in the lunchroom, and we was just talking. I don't know how it led to what we was talking about, but I always told people, and this is when I start questioning stuff and, and really had room to question we gonna get into that too. Really had room to question. So I would tell people like, I believe in God, but I don't believe in the Bible. Like majority of the people be like, oh yeah, me too. I ain't gonna lie, like, oh yeah, that made sense. Oh yeah, me too, I don't really believe in the Bible. I know it's man-made shit like that. You know, people really not gonna argue with you like that, about that. That shit man-made, but I knew shit like that. And he was just like, how you gonna believe in God but not the Bible? And like, when he said that, I ain't gonna lie. That shit made me think so deep because how would I even know about this God without the Bible? And I don't believe in this Bible, right? So I can't believe in God. But one thing he did say, he was like, he worshiped the sun. And when he said that, it felt so familiar, like nothing threw me off. You know when somebody say something that you never heard, and it might be not normal, and you be like, oh shit, or like, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, it never, it ain't gave no 
bad re or weird reaction. It was like I knew that shit. It was like he was giving me a refresher from like a previous life when he said that. And it made so much sense. And I ain't gonna, I can't really quote him because it's been some years for real. It's been about four or five years. But he, he was like, he worshiped the sun. We, we come from the sun. You know, that's real shit, bro. Like, man, that shit woke me up more than anything. So, yeah, I appreciate my dog for real. But. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get into that, right? So my melanated people, I need y'all to look up something for me. We're gonna look up the sun people. If you know about the sun people, I ain't I ain't gonna lie, we learned a, a little something in school. The sun people, like I said, they worship the sun, they knew the way of life. They knew like all of the originalities, I would say. So the sun people are the people that you probably seen in your history books. And yeah, you probably seen them in your history books. And it was like it'll tell you a message. And I remember cause I see the I see the picture right now. Ho hopefully I can find it. But it's like everybody be pointing directly to the sun. It's like everybody look up to the sun. But it's on the wall. It's still there to this day. It's something like that. But yeah. The reason why I said my melanated people look up the sun people. Because. And it's. Oh man. That's crazy. But. The number 666. Is not demonic. That shit is not evil. That's what they want you to think. That's what they want you to think. And I ain't gonna lie. I used to think that too from movies and shit. Like. It got programmed in my head. That's not evil. That is you. To my melanated people, you are 666. Go look it up. I gotta say, go look this shit up, yo. Either you gonna believe me or science. Or both, like. I don't, I don't really think you can argue with science, but I don't wanna stir y'all wrong, so I may be a little stirred up with this, but we are made up of six protons, six carbons, and six neutrons. 666, that's melanin. That's what's in the sun. You know what I'm saying? That's why we can. We're the only race, and I did that for a reason. We're the only race that can stand in the sun for as long as we want, and ain't shit gonna happen, yo. Nothing. I'm li I'm a living testimony. I'm a living testimony. And I want y'all to tell y'all stories if you might have got sunburned or something like that. I want to hear that. I want to hear. I want to hear the stories. Cause shit, I ain't gonna lie. I done heard plenty of black people like, oh man, we, we can get some, but no, the fuck you can't, bro. You cannot. You can't, bro. But I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back on point. It's like two, three years ago, I said I was seeing all that and whatever, and I really think I went home and I just researched. Like I just did my research for real, for real. I never spoke on it though, now that I think about it. And I think when I came back to school, I never spoke on it with him. It was just like, I knew he did. He did wake me up though, he did, bro, he did. So, I make music for those of you that didn't come from my music. I make music and this is the big thing with my spirituality because I come from the trenches, you hear me? I come from the, I come from poverty, poor as hell, yo. Like everybody out there, bitch, bro. That's where I come from. So, and specifically, we used to listen to the poverty music, the struggle music, the gangster music, and shit that make you want to go slide, <laughs> shit like that. Like we used to listen to that. So, of course, what kind of, what other music am I gonna make? And that's all I hear. What other, you know what I'm saying? So, growing up, and just start with my career, my music was very low vibrational. With like, like shoot 'em up, bang bang music like that. That shit was very low vibrational. But that's just my environment. That shit I seen. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all I knew. Literally, all I knew. So, but the reason I'm saying that is because. 
being spiritual, you, you when you wake up, it's like you realize a lot of shit that was in your life or that's in your life serves no purpose and should have never served a purpose for real. So like when I made music and shit. And I would listen to the music that I used to make. I was like, nah, this shit ain't right, bro. No way. No way I'm making this shit. No way I'm continuing this cycle to lead my black people to fucking death. No way I'm going to continue to do this. Or no way that I did this. But I couldn't blame me. Can't blame me for real. Can't blame my mama. Can't blame you. Can't blame nobody but society. And for my spiritualists, y'all know what type of society I'm talking about. But yeah, like, I don't know, it was like, I just knew I had to make a change, but I knew, or I didn't know at the time that that change was gonna change my audience. And when your audience changes, you have to change. Your environment, all that. Your, so when your audience changes, you should not be around that audience. You should not be seeking for that audience. And that's one thing that I think I was still doing. It really held me. I ain't gonna say it held me back, but it did kinda. Cause I was still seeking for this specific audience. But yeah, my audience did change unknowingly. So as I'm making this high vibration of music, you know what I'm saying? I'm still on Trap 808. I'm still like making the trap music and shit like that. But I'm just, it's high vibration with trap music, you know? You still get the same feeling, but you're getting lessons while you while you getting that same feeling. So what I mean by that, you still turn it up like how you would with anybody else you would listen to or being listening to. But now you getting information. Now this shit, you getting downloads in your brain. Now. I'm the, I'm the person that make you think. You know, that's who I became. At first, I was a rapper. Literally. I was I was never proud to say that, though. That's crazy. I always, I ain't never want to be a rapper. But I was a rapper. As a rapper, I became an artist. Spirituality really helped that. Spirituality helped me realize, like, I can do anything I, I want. I can do anything I want. Like, it's never been a time with my career, or shit, with anything. I'm gonna be real, since I got woke. But specifically my career, that I couldn't do nothing, yo. I just couldn't do that shit. And literally, I'm literal speaking, yo. Anything I put my mind to, any genre I wanted to hop in, did it, done. It's a lot of people that's never gonna even hop into half of the genres I've hopped into. And thanks to spirituality, cause spirituality, like I said, spirituality is everything and it leads you back to your true self. It leads you back to your true self. So that's why you can do everything. For real, for real, cause you're your true self. You, you look within, but yeah. I had to realize that I had to change my audience and my audience did change. Uh, that was hard That's really why I want to focus on that Because when you do get spiritual It's kind of hard Especially when you can't change your environment At that specific time Yeah it's going to be hard You got this whole different audience But you're still in that environment Of your previous audience It's not being beneficial to you If anything is being detrimental it, It's kind of hurting you Because you're not around Like minded individuals like-minded energies are not listening to your energy so i'm not gonna say it doesn't make it like-minded but from you being around like-minded energies and them like-minded energies listening to it it will make it like more like-minded as a whole to where if i wasn't spiritual at all i would be tuned in because i don't care what nobody say yo it's, 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 it's a few of us, it's, it's rare as hell, it's a few of us, but if 10 people is in a room and all 10 or I would say 8 of them people said this thing, this side is supposed to go or whatever, 
when you walk in that room, whose side are you gonna take? You gonna take them two people or you gonna take them eight people that was, you know what I'm saying? So put that with what I just said, like, you just need those like-minded, them like-minded energies, it all coincides. If 10 people is sad and I walk in this room, not me specifically, just a normal ass person, I walk into this room and I'm gonna get sad. Versus me walking into a happy ass audience or a happy, happy room with everybody in there happy. You know what I'm saying? It's all energy for real. So you just gotta tap into that for real. Like you gotta recognize what energies you wanna you wanna target for real. When I say energies, audience. So just remember that. Cause all that coincides. But yeah, I had to realize that. And still is realizing it. It's crazy. That was like two, three years ago. So it's never, it's never. I don't think it never ends. You always gonna realize, cause you always elevate. You gonna keep growing when you when you go through spirituality. You only get higher. Once you get woke, it ain't no going back. So you definitely gonna have multiple audiences. But leading up to now, or not even leading up to now. Where do I want to be two years from now? Since I've done that and been, you know what I'm saying, awakened again, where do I want to be two years from now? I know where I'm going to be, but I'm going to speak from a human perspective. Uh, I want to be very successful. I want to be very influential two years from now. Shit, we're gonna look back at this and be like, damn, it's really unique doing this, you know? But two years from now, I want my frequencies to be more high vibrational, of course, but I want them to be more consistent. Like the high vibrational frequencies. I want them to be more consistent. And what I mean by that is with my music and shit, or just like stuff like this, I want this to be more installed or not even more installed installed for longer because we got an attention we got an attention span of i think it's like 30 seconds or like the first three seconds or something like that that's how that's that's how that's a general attention span so i don't know and shit i'm still human i know for a fact when i look at videos Over the time, this shit does. I ain't gonna say I, I'm gonna say like I lose the memories a little bit. Like I just forget something like that. I want to be to that point where, but this shit was so influential. This shit was so information. Like I gave you so much information to be better within yourself. That is just never gonna leave your brain. Like that's that's where I want to be two years ago. I mean two years from now with everything though, not even just with my music. Oh, yeah, definitely just want to live up to my name. Definitely just want to live up to my name. I want to change the narratives of so much shit, yo. So much shit, and we're gonna get into that. Let me see if I got another question before I do. Before I do, it's a lot of narratives that does need to be changed, though. You know. Oh. Most importantly, I, I mean, I know I forgot because I already made a video before, but I definitely want to start like youth projects and like foundations, food drives, like things to do, things to do for the youth, for real, for real. And now that I think about it, not even just for the youth, yo. Shit, I'm 22, like, I be wanting shit to do, you know? Like, I be wanting shit to do, for real. So shit. And I got my inner child. My inner child's still here, so that inner child be wanna be expressive and have fun. And you, I, I can do that shit, but general speaking, you can't do that shit in a small town like Sharon. Like, I'm just never bored though. And it's all because I manifested that. I used to tell myself I was bored, shit like that. I can't have fun, you can't do nothing in Sharon. I used to tell myself shit like that. Manifestations for real, for real. 
And y'all gonna learn over time, she becomes muscle memory, for real. The manifestations become muscle memory. But I definitely wanna start, start like foundations. Keep motherfuckers, out, keep motherfuckers out of trouble because a lot of, a lot of, the, a lot of bad shit that's going on is because motherfuckers be bored, yo. That's just real shit. Like I said, I come from the trenches, yo. I remember, and this shit ain't nothing like I was back then. I ain't gonna lie, but I just remember being bored, bro. I remember being around individuals that just couldn't handle being bored and wanted to get in some shit. Like, no bullshit, bro. This is all seriousness. And the reason why I want to get on this so bad because this the youth is leading down. Like, I don't know, bro. The youth is way more advanced with a lot of good shit. But people don't talk about how they advanced in a lot of bad shit, bro. Like, niggas really getting to, to shit too young to understand what the hell they doing. Bro, your brain ain't even fully developed yet. You just getting in and shit like But they doing it so early So early And it's because we are the parents We are the parents This generation bro We are the parents now So it's like It's a gift and a curse that This my generation is so free Because you do got a lot of parents That's not traditional And let their, their kids express themselves That's a benefit But the curse to that is like Tradition does build structure, and I, yeah, tradition, tradition does, yo, it does. It builds like a foundation for real. So it's, it is a gift and a curse, but that is why a lot of the youth is going downhill. Cause like I got cousins right now, I got little cousins right now that I had a big role in their their life. A big ass role to where they could talk to me, they could do anything like that. What I'm trying to do now, but I can honestly tell y'all if I were to get every one of those little cousins that I was talking about, I don't even know where I would start with talking to them. That's just real shit. That's real, bro. So it's a lot of people out there that like me that want to change, like want change in the youth, but you just don't know where to start. For real. And shit, I'm still young myself. Yo, youth days are never over. I'm going to say that for real, for real. Your youth days are never over. Y'all going to hear that a lot. We ain't really going to say how old a person is. We going to say how wise. There's a lot of terms that y'all going to catch on to. But, yeah, man, the youth is headed down the wrong trail, bro. I just hate to see it. I really do. I hate to see that shit. So, yeah, two years from now, definitely building a foundation. Definitely when you look at my name, you're gonna know it's like, oh, what else he doing? Real shit, like what else he doing? Oh like, yeah, he did this, what else? Can he could he can he do anything else now from here? Now, that's where I wanna be two years from now. Cause I'm an artist with life. I'm not just an artist with music, yo. But another main topic we are gonna discuss, like like I said, spirituality, so you know it's gonna them conspiracy theories, all of that. My life consists of those, you know. I always, I always have theories. When I wake up, it's a theory. All right, I'm always thinking, yo. So we definitely gonna speak on them uh, conspiracy theories. And while we talking about conspiracy theories. I want to talk about this specific one, and this just genre is like true, true crime, true crime. And what I got from that, when I seen that word, I was like, damn, it's the crime that, and I know it probably don't mean this, but it's the crime that's really going on in the world. Is this shit really us? Y'all gonna know why I'm finna say this. So it's a. I don't know, this shit been proven. I don't, I don't literally look at a video. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't see this shit, bro. But Chicago police and the murders down there. Now, if y'all know 
first of all, why the fuck is we calling anything like all right, Chirac? Why is we calling shit like that? Shit should not be a fucking term, yo. The reason why we're calling it Chirac, you mixing Chicago with Iraq, like you them are fucking terrorists, yo. That shit ain't cool. But speaking on that, if y'all know, like two three years ago. I think they had the most murders. I think they had more murders. They had one period where they had more murders than Iraq or something like that. And the conspiracy theory is most of those murders aren't even us. When I say us, black people, it's not us. If you watch they clone Tyrone, that should have show you a whole lot about that for real, for real. But it was a video where a white man had a uh he had a mask and he went from his head to his shoulders but it was black yo when he put his mask on you could not tell me that, that wasn't a black man yo you couldn't tell me and then they put the videos to where in interviews people were interviewed saying that the government literally used to drop boxes of guns Drugs, all that in alleyways. Literal speaking, yo. So that's a big theory that I be wanting to speak on for real. Cause I don't think well I know most of them murders ain't even us for real. That shit ain't us, bro. They want y'all to believe that we just hate each other that much, we're just that violent. We're not. And you gotta learn that shit from somewhere. They say it all starts at home, but we ain't talking about the, the physical home. We talking about before all this shit got here. But yeah, most most definitely, I think that needs to be looked on. That need to be looked into for real, yo. Cause I can only imagine the youth down there. They always in survival mode. Like you probably always looking across your shoulder. And half of the time you looking for nothing Cause this shit ain't even done by your own color Or you looking in the wrong direction Is what I meant to say It ain't even your color for real Oh no I feel like that need to be looked into And Chicago is definitely not the only place That, that just can't be the only place But yeah Conspiracy theories like that is what we gonna talk about For real Uh Trying to think. Oh yeah, like urban, urban news, like the urban topics and stuff like that. Music, cause I'm a musician, so we definitely gonna talk about artists, rappers, what they got going on. And while we're on that subject, I do want to tell y'all that it's a, it's a specific agenda that's on the for, forefront right now with the music industry. And if you notice, it's like a lot of the demonic shit. But half of that shit is flawed, y'all. Half of that shit is flawed. Nothing to be scared of. That's just real. But the agenda right now, I would say it's a lot of distractions within the music. You got people like Doja Cat doing all this deep demonic ass shit, like artists like that. It really be the stressings of what's really going on in the world and what's really going on in the world all this shit <laughs> all of a sudden is mother nature is, is is coming to reclaim her home and that's what's going on in the world right now if you get off the u.s service and search google and search different countries and see what they got going on man it was a lot of flooding i remember when i first got woke up it was a lot of floods like cities flooded, bro. You would never see that shit. Shout out to Soul Illuminati. Shout out to Soul Illuminati. He helped me on that. So, it's a, the agenda right now is really what it's been, but it's not physical no more. Like, it's very internal. It's very, it's, it's very spiritual. 
They're trying to attack your, they're trying to attack this right here. For real, for real. So yeah, I would just tell y'all, stay grounded, for real. Stay grounded, meditate. That's another thing I did want to say, like, how do you tap in? You got a ground, you got a ground. And make this a, a experiment for you. So, you gotta do this fresh out the wake up. Or it's suggested. Do it fresh out the wake up. But, remember how you feel, remember how you feel right now, right? And go outside, take your socks off, and walk barefoot. Find you some grass. It really don't matter. It really don't matter, though. Grass is very recommended, though. I'll say that. But yeah, find you something to, you know, walk on. And remember how you was feeling before that. Whether you was feeling anxious or anything like that. And just walk for, I'd say for a minute, for real. It don't take that long. It don't take that long. But tell me how you feel. Just let me know. That's how you tap in, for real. You gotta come back to your original self. All these clothes and shit are just shit to make you drift away from your original self. Now like we don't supposed to wear shoes, none of that shit. If you notice, as a baby, your feet is always, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's still forming and shit. And a lot of us, we don't even know. Majority of the world, your feet are not supposed to go like this, bro. It's not. It's like, bro, it's so much shit, man. It's so much shit. I actually just learned that a couple days ago, for real, for real. But yeah, the shit that they put on you, the clothes, all that is just to decalcify your original self. That's real. They don't want you grounded. Imagine all of us walking barefooted all day. Especially the people that know how it feels to be grounded. Imagine barefoot. Everybody walking barefoot. I ain't gonna say. I'm. I'm I want to hear y'all experience first before I say what it does. The benefits. Yeah, try that though. Try that. I want. Yeah, cause we gotta get back on that. But yeah, I want y'all to know that this podcast is a family. The only reason I'm giving it a title because it has to have some sort of title, you know what I'm saying? But it's not a not a podcast specifically. It's a family. So when you do come, I want you to feel whole. I want you to come with an open mind. If you're not open-minded, and you know you're not open-minded, it's not for you. If you don't know, let's do a practice right quick. If you don't know if you're open-minded or not. Let's close our eyes. Ask yourself, am I open-minded? And see what voices come in your head. See what they tell you. But yeah, you, you got to be open-minded. You got to have an open way of thinking over here. I'm telling you, hell, half of the shit I just said right now, you probably going to see if you're open-minded or not for real. Everything don't got to resonate. But yeah, just know that this is definitely a family. It's not gonna be all seriousness. We definitely gonna have good vibes and shit like that. Cause I'm a goofy person. I like to goof around. I like to joke around. But right now, I'm just trying to give y'all like an origin, an overview of what's going on. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I miss anything for real. I don't think I did. I think I got everything. Oh. To my local businesses, and not when I mean local, I mean like everywhere, right? Not just Chirac. So to my local businesses, to my entrepreneurs, to anybody that wants to be a part of this family, um, you might want to promote your business. You might want to do something. You might want to get one of your logos, something on this wall. I'm reaching out to y'all now. You're not gonna hear this a lot because I know how big this shit finna get. You know, eventually it's gonna be the other way around. But right now, I'm gonna reach out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you this opportunity. This once in a lifetime opportunity to invest in yourself. 
you know. I already got a big ass following, but I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna try to not promote from that following, cause like I told y'all before, you gotta seek a target audience. I can't seek everybody that comes for my music. You know what I'm saying? They looking for me for my music. So yeah, everybody ain't ain't looking to hear me talk. Everybody ain't looking to see what unique got going on as a person rather than an artist. So yeah. But yeah, I already got the following and shit like that. I just want to help out. I really do. And see, you can never, you can never stop learning, and you can never stop growing. And that's definitely help both of us grow. So yeah, my local, everything. You might, you ain't even gotta be local for real. Your business might be really popping, and you might see something in me. You might see something in me. You might want to. Make an investment or something like I ain't tripping, but I do want y'all to know that this is a family, and you all you all are welcome. That's a fact. I love every one of y'all. Um, peace to all my guys and goddesses. One thing I did learn with spirituality is we're all one. Everything is connected. We're all one soul. Yeah, we're just one one soul. And the best the best scenario to put it is. With my music and shit, like genres. So you you got hip hop and you got alternative hip hop. You got bedroom bedroom pop, hip hop like shit, shit like that. Rage hip hop, like certain sub genres. We are those sub genres type shit. But it all leads back up to that what that main genre, that main soul. We all are one. So I love every one of you. If nobody told you today. I'm so proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, if you're not doing nothing, I'm still proud of you. Because guess what you hear? And you're capable of doing anything you want to. But one thing you can't let is outside. That means anything, bro. You can never let outside control what you got going on, yo. You always got to look internal with, with everything. But... Yeah, man, I love all y'all. If you're looking at this, pat yourself on the back. Because you just joined the most amazing podcast ever. But now, pat, pat yourself on the back because you're still here. It probably was a lot of times that you didn't want to be here. It's probably a lot of y'all that don't want to be here, but you're still here. So pat yourself on the back, for sure. Pat yourself on the back. Stay positive. I know it be hard. I know it be hard. And living in this society is hard. You got a lot of negative energies. I just don't want to see you win for real. It's that. Hell, I, I know I got a lot of negative energy that don't want to see me win. But I don't let that interfere with me. You know, we stay protected over there. You fuck around and you going to find out. You fuck around with me, you going to find out. And I ain't, hey, internally, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I definitely have to say that, though. Definitely have to say that. But yeah, man. Stay grounded. Stay peaceful. Be lazy when you need to be lazy. Cry when you got to cry. Be mad when you got to be mad. You know, just be you. Most importantly, just be you. I'm proud of myself because I just did this shit again. Because I really already did this podcast. So the previous me, I would have. Never did this shit again. I would have looked at it as a sign. A I don't know, man. I don't know. I would have made an excuse not to do this again, though. Because I really recorded the whole album. So, and I ain't got no footage of it. That's why if you see me looking over here, I'm looking to see if this shit's still recording. <laughs> but yeah. I'm trying to make sure I don't leave nothing out. I don't think I left nothing out. Oh, before we do, yeah, before we do leave, I want to explain my wall. Since we, we're doing an overview of what's going on, I want to explain the pieces on my wall. The first piece is this. This is very significant for me, and it's the oldest piece on this wall. It got a lot of memories. It got a lot of old memories, a lot of good memories. But... My dog, Day Day, had came over. I think it was Day Day and Kilo. They came over and we were just chilling and shit. 
I think I was already painting this right here. I think I had already painted this. Or I was drawing something else. I think that's what it was. I was drawing something else and I had these things though. The like painting shit. And then they wanted to paint. Like he wanted to draw something. He was just scribbling though. That's This is his version of scribbling by the way. This is very artistic to me. Cause I don't know how to draw. But he was just scribbling like. He was like I was just playing with this shit. Dude, dude, dude. But he drew objects. And within those objects. And every object had uh, like a name in it. Almost, almost every object. So yeah, this was very significant. I love how he did that shit, for real, for real. I don't know if y'all can see from right here, but 208, that's where I'm from. 53, that's my angel number. For life, y'all already know. That's Seth Spinator. Loopy, that's when he had put Loopy. He did it in a, um, like a wavy, like a warp font, something like that. Put Loopy down here. I love this one, this is my favorite one. He put Kilo right here, but for the L, he got a microphone. That was so hard. That, that's dope as fuck, for real. Um, he put Lico right here, and it's hard to see, for real. It's an L going right here. It's an I going right here. It's a K, and it's an O. But if you see right here, it's basically like a compass light. Like, it's so trippy, bro. It's so trippy. But this is Day Day right here. This is what he put. It's two eyes. Two eyes right here, but like eyes to see, not the little eye. D A I D A I. That's hard. He had put the heartbreak and I had put the paint, you know, to, you know, have a more vivid picture. And of course, my previous self, King, you see the crown right here? And the crown is on top of the king or the kiddo. So it's like King K H I D O. And of course you got Long Live Diso. He shows my long lost brother. Happy transcendence. This right here is very significant because this is the cover to my project Misunderstood. And that project was the first project that when I hopped out my genre. Now I think that's what really turned me to an artist for real, for real, for real. I'm gonna be real. But this was in the background of my misunderstood cover. And I was literally in a closet, a small ass closet. And I took a picture like this. Like literally, I was this close. But they had to miss the little thing in the back. And if you go back to the cover, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that cover up for y'all. You'll see this shit in the back, but we was bored, we was drawing and shit. And we was talking about triple cross. We was talking about triple cross. It's like right out of town, I had just dropped, well, it was a year after that though, I ain't gonna lie, but it was popping, it was still popping. So, it was just like, man, these would be some hard covers. He had put a little triangle with the pyramid. We gonna get into that too, because the pyramid is not evil either. Y'all should know that by now, but I didn't know that, so I can't even really say that. Uh, it's an eye right here in the middle of the pyramid. And it has the three crosses, that's the triple cross. That was hard, that was hard. He did three like, he had three ideas, or two ideas, cause he erased one of them. But he put an eye right here, and then he put a cross on the left and right, and he put one, the third one. Oh, you know what's crazy? I just noticed he put the third one in the eye. That's hard, that's hard, he just gave me an idea. Which was the whole point, but this this is the teardrops going to the eye. Did you see that? That's the eye. It's like a reptilian eye. I think I, I did that. And that's the triple cross. Uh, y'all know what that is. Hey, comment if you got this poster, cause I know I done seen this on the, on a lot of walls. Y'all know who this is. Squidward. It's like a. It reminds me of a Squidward in a parallel universe, like. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. But I like art, though. I love art. I love art. So if I see something that's eye catching, I'm definitely gonna get it. But I love canvases and shit like this. Uh, I just had to think about. It. But this right here, Slip Slip Black King. Um, 
You got my boy Nipsey on there. Fun fact, I never knew who Nipsey was until he died. We definitely need to change that narrative. Cause he was a big artist. I didn't even know he was that big. But I didn't know who he was till he passed for real. Didn't know the message he put out. None of that. So yeah, definitely gotta change that narrative for sure. Uh Triple Cross. For those of you who ain't from my music, Triple Cross was a very essential project for my career. Triple Cross might have been the project to really catch ears, like how I wanted them to catch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> so that's why. And this is actually my only cover that I got printed out because it was that significant. And, you know, it really impacted my career in, in, in a whole, on a whole nother level, for real. <clears throat> Shout out to my dog, Mateo. Shout out to my dog. Y'all gonna see her on here. Most definitely, y'all gonna see her. But, shout out to her, man. Because, my 22nd birthday. Oh, yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, let me talk about this shit right here. It's my 22nd birthday. Three months before my actual solo return. I was trying to plan shit with my guys. You know what I'm saying? With the guys, with the friends. You know what I'm saying? Dude. Nobody, everybody side talking shit like that. Oh yeah, we can do this, we can do that, we can do that. When the time came, even before, I was already ready like a month prior. I was like, let's go ahead and lock in. Nobody even responded back to my messages type shit. And I hope every one of y'all look, I hope every one of y'all motherfuckers seeing this shit too. Just, hey, just remember it. And that's all I'm gonna say. And yes, I feel some type of way. Most definitely, I do. But, uh, Shout out to Matea, man. Matea, I love you so much. Because without her, I would have never took this trip, yo. I would have never took this trip. I was planning on going by myself, but I probably would have, you know, procrastinating. Like, what I'm gonna do up there by myself for real? But not only did she get me to where I wanted to go for my day, bro, we did so much shit. Like, this is one of, this is one of the best birthdays I've ever had in my whole life. But this is definitely the best birthday I had since I've been grown. And I'm saying that because I haven't did nothing since I've been grown for my birthday. Never. I ain't did nothing, bro. This was definitely, like, we went horseback riding. All oh, that. We did so much shit, bro. Within three days. Feel like a lifetime for me. But for real, for real, these are the photo shoot. We gonna go take pictures. That's something else. You know, we gonna go take pictures. I don't know if y'all can really see this. Let me tell you, that's me. And that's the other picture on the top. But yeah, that explains my wall. Like I was saying before, with like-minded individuals. I don't know, maybe if I had like-minded individuals around me, that trip would have been planned like I was supposed to be. But I'm so glad. So glad that it went how it went, you know. So glad. But yeah, that's that's it. That's it. That's it. I love all. I love every one of y'all. Once again, peace to all my guys and goddesses. We gone. Eight, eight, eight. Bow, bow, bow.